That's Christopher Hallowell, Z Rology, Fort Lauderdale. We're doing a uh, seven-year-old uh, orchiopexy, inguinal hernia, and a hydrocele. And so typically when we enter the uh, uh, inguinal space, we bring the testicle up, we've delivered it now, you're gonna see the hernia is going to be usually posterior. However, this one is anterior and he also has it loculated. So it's a little unusual in the fact that he's got a distal, once we remove the gubernaculum, we have this here. And this is the testicle inside our hernia here. But as you can see, this is lying on the anterior and it's a um, loculated one. So we have the hernia that comes to the cord and then we have a very small ostium that connects between the distal hydrocele hernia and the approximal one. So we're gonna to have to dissect this off. Typically I like to go through the external spermatic fascia all the way up here, but we may have to go posteriorly here to kind of unwrap it so we can get to the process vaginalis and bring the hernia all the way down. All right, so we're gonna go posteriorly opening up external spermatic fascia. You can either start proximally or distally. I'm gonna start proximally, it's how I tend to wanna do. We're gonna slide this up. And we'll open this up so we can access the process vaginalis without opening it inadvertently before we actually uh, fix the hernia. There's really no harm in doing such a thing. It's just bad form and or it just is more, um, it's uh, more leaky and it makes it more difficult to find it. So what we're gonna do is grab the cut edge of here. We're gonna separate the cord structures and then we're gonna dissect the hernia down. Dissected the, the cord structures. Now we have the hernia, which is isolated here. I've isolated the small ostium that you see here. Cord structures are here, including our vas deferens and the cord structures themselves. The issue is, is that we're in this here, the testicles in here. So it seems like we have a hernia and a hydrocele at the same time. Usually they're one in the same and semantically in a child, it seems like it would be one in the same. However, in this, this is actually around the testicle. We have the tunica vaginalis, um, not necessarily the process vaginalis, which is this. The tunica vaginalis, it seems like, is now covering this. So we have a hernia and a hydrocele, truly in this particular child. So I'm gonna open up the hydrocele and then we're going to, uh, then we'll fix the hernia by just taking this down. So we disconnected the hernia, as you can see here, we'll take this all the way down to the um, external ring. And now we're just gonna open up the hydrocele itself here and then free the testicle. And I'll just remove this, uh, uh, this uh, tunica vaginalis. So we're just gonna open it up here on this line, ensuring up into the testicle, and here the testicle lives inside this hernia here. There's really no connection between the two, so we're kind of purely isolated from one another, or at least the ostium between it was actually closed, and so that's why we got the loculated appearance that was happening. So we'll just excise this like we normally do for an adult hydrocele, and then we'll fix the hernia like we normally do. Hernia, we've taken it down to the uh, external ring here. We're just gonna twist it on itself and we're gonna highlight gate it like we normally do. It's pretty straightforward here. We'll send this off for permanent pathology. We'll send off, we've already done the uh, hydrocele, so the tunica uh, vaginalis removal here and we'll send that off separately as a hydrocele and hernia sac. All right, so we're gonna, we created our subdartos pouch here. So in general, when I do my hernias, I'm gonna do orchiopexy at the same time. That way we never have to worry about future torsion on this particular uh, patient. So dart, subdartos pouch, we're gonna carry this, we'll bring the testicle down, secure it just like we normally do, and then close up the inguinal incision. All right, so now we're gonna close the inguinal incision. So we have the external here that we opened. So we'll be closing that. And we preserved 
the inguinal nerve, which sits right here, we're gonna leave that intact. So we separated that from the actual under shelving of this so we don't entrap it, so he doesn't have future uh, inguinal pain or testicular pain. Uh, hernia, hydrocele, and orchiopexy. Here's our incision here. And incision here, we'll just apply Dermabon and we're all set. Chris Hollowell, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Z-Urology.